Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Well, I have been freezing my bananas in the peeling for forever, and uh, I decided to freeze some with the peeling off and preparing to uh, use them in smoothie packets. I'm just trying to make my life easier. So, I don't want them to turn dark. I really don't, because I don't like to look at them when they're that way. So I'm going to use some fruit fresh. And uh, what I'm going to do is just make up a liquid and uh, give them a rinse in that. And then I'm going to put them on a, this is really a, a cookie sheet type thing, with, and it's got saran wrap on it right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to, I, I don't like the way these look. I mean, I'm probably going to have to cut off some places on them, but anyway, we're going to go ahead. So to mix up the fruit fresh for a liquid, I'm going to need one cup of water, and I'm going to need three tablespoons plus one teaspoon of the fruit fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bowl. So that's three tablespoons plus one teaspoon. And then I'm going to put in what's equivalent to 16 tablespoons of water or one cup. Yeah, so all I'm going to do is really rinse the bananas in this. I'm going to just make sure that's dissolved. And this is supposed to prevent them from turning. So once they're, of course, on the cookie sheet, then I'm going to put them in the big freezer, and, which will freeze them faster and harder, really, than my uh, freezer over the refrigerator. All right, so that looks like it's pretty well dissolved. And the majority of what this contains is vitamin C, and it's got uh, ascorbic acid, uh, vitamin, uh, it says, vitamin C, and citric acid, and uh, silicone dioxide, which prevents it from caking together. And it doesn't contain any sulfides, so that part's good. All right, so we're ready to get started. And Patrick, if you're watching, I'm probably not going to squeeze the end of the banana out. Not for this. I will cut it closer to the end. Now. see what these look like. Yep, see, a little, little bitty bad place on it right there. I'm going to try to get all the strings off too. I can, and I'm going to actually just cut them in half. Let them drop down in that uh, little solution. So let's do a couple more of these real quick. And my peelings, of course, will go into the compost bucket that's out on the deck. Oh, see. I'm going to cut that out. Yeah, you know, when you get them from the store, they tend to get bruises on them like that, but when I buy them at the farmer's market, I almost never run into a banana that's got a bruise on it. Because they pack them in the box, I guess, in the field when they're, when they're picking the bananas, is my guess. There's another one. So I don't like that dark. I just cut it in half and make sure that it's completely covered in that liquid. I'll do a couple more. Yeah, when you freeze the bananas, they actually get sweeter, is my experience. Okay, this one looks okay. It actually broke right there, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it be. And we'll just do one more, and then I'm going to position them on the sheet over here, the pan. Okay, this one didn't have any bruises on it. Yeah, Mr. Bucky is out mowing the lawn, and it's actually already raining. He's just still out there mowing, so he's going to come in wet, I'm sure. It's actually just drizzling out there. Okay, so now these have been in the liquid, and I'm just going to take them out and kind of shake them off a little bit and position them on the uh, little... I call it a cookie sheet. It's really a jelly roll pan. 
Let's see how many I can get on here. Now I lined it with this um, saran wrap because once they're frozen, I want them to just pop right off, you know, so I can put them in the freezer in little uh, smoothie packets. All right, so I'm going to finish doing the rest of these, and when I'm done, we'll be back. Okay, we are done peeling them and uh, letting them uh, get totally coated with the, uh, uh, the fruit fresh liquid is what I used. And it, it, I really just used a cup. I think I could probably use to just half a cup. But anyway, here they are. And nothing has turned so far, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in the freezer. Now, if this works, which I'm hoping it will, then from now on, when I get the whole bushel of bananas at the farmer's market, I'm going to do them this way because it'll take up a lot less room in my freezer. But the main reason for doing this is because I want to be able to make up smoothie packets that have already got the bananas in them. Uh, that way I don't even have to think in the morning. I can just dump it in the uh, food process, I mean the uh, Vitamix, add water, and boom, it's done. Well, sometimes I'll have to add peanut butter, but anyway, we're going to give this a try. All right, we will see y'all next time. Now, if you want to know how it works, watch my smoothie videos. I usually do one every morning except Sunday morning, and you'll get a look at these bananas. All right, we'll see y'all next time.